The warm weather is making an appearance and it looks like holidays are just ahead of us. So I have gone and done the work of the luxury summer must-haves of 2023. What do I mean by this? It's dramatic, I know, must-have, you don't really need it, you know what I mean, if you're in the market. But basically, these are either categories or trends of summer essentials, and I have gone into each of these and come up with different options based on things that are a bit trending, a bit hot, or things that I think deserve a little bit of a shout out. You know, I like to keep you ahead of the game. I don't like you to be blindsided. And like I said, if you're in the market for any of these things, then hopefully this is helpful. Links will be below in the shopping prompt on the screen. Category number one, cover-ups. Firstly, it sounds holiday only. It's not. Stick with me. But previously, when I used to think of cover-ups, I used to think of a caftan. There can be some very fabulous caftans, I'll tell you that much. But really, the category of like beach cover-ups was never something that, that was that important to me. However, the sheer trend is a very big trend at the moment, as we know. Everybody's loving the see-through, the transparent, the, you know, a little bit risque, whatever, right? And this is a really great way to do the trend as a beach cover-up. So, I mean, there's a few brands doing this. I did a mesh dress for one of my birthday, one of my 30th birthday dresses, and it was a Jean-Paul Gaultier cyber collection dress. They don't do that anymore. However, Jean-Paul Gaultier has just come out with a new collection. So you may like some of those options there. The other one is Louisa Ballou. She's a really great beachwear swimwear designer. And she also does some mini, some are midi as well. I think it's a really kind of easy way to dress up this moment, right? Whether you're going to the beach, hanging out by the beach, whatever. I just think it elevates things like a lot. But don't just think that these are just there to be a beach cover-up because as we know, when we pack for holiday or in the summer or whatever, we want little things that are light that can be used for more than one purpose. Get a two for one in there, a buy one, get one free. And all you need to do is put a bodysuit underneath this, dinner outfit, done. Get you a girl that can do both, summer bag slash beach bag right? The sun comes out, you need something that's either crocheted or raffia. So it seems. So, you know, everybody seems to be telling us. Now, when it comes to beach bags, there is one brand that I kind of think rules the roost with this, and that is Loewe, but I do have some other options for you. And again, not exclusively for the holiday. You can wear this clip-clopping down the city streets, concrete jungle where dreams are made of, avec crochet tote if you want to live your best life do whatever you feel is right this isn't necessarily the team i'm on but prada loves their totes they love a raffia tote on the very much more simple side with a prada logo right then you've also got something jacquemus is also a very good beach summer brand if you want a smaller sort of basket bag at um a much more approachable price point they're really great um the other one i've kind of seen here and there on social media and i'm like oh this is interesting there's a new goyard like crocheted little sack it's got little wooden rods that it sort of hangs off of almost like a hammock it's like it's little hammock and it's just got a little goyard <laughs> um coated canvas flap there absolutely no idea on price because goyard likes to gatekeep but i've seen that around and i wanted to share however my favorite selection comes from loewe and there is one bag in particular that I know a lot of publications and whatnot are gravitating a lot towards from this summer as like the Loewe summer bag, which is their sort of boxy square tote. I think the small is a, decent is the wrong word, is a price that sort of somewhat makes sense to me. The large one to me, I think is overpriced. And they come in some different variations, right? So I think that's quite cool. There's some interesting colours and patterns and all of that. And I see its appeal. The small one does also come with a crossbody strap so that you can, you know, she's more than just a little handheld beach bag situation. But their collaboration with Paula's Ibiza, the bags are so much fun. Really, really great colours. Those are my favourites compared to this one and the boxy little tote. Denim is a huge trend for spring summer and we are really seeing this sort of across categories. Ready to wear bags, shoes. Fendi finally launched their collaboration with Marc Jacobs. The majority of this collection is denim, white and like light grey denim, so I think it's a little bit more... 
I don't know, I think denim is palatable for spring summer, but there's something about white denim that I think everybody just like absolutely loves when it comes to the summer. White denim and more of a sort of 90s vibe is your style, then this collection is very much for you. They've got little denim corsets, denim skirts, denim maxi skirts, denim wide leg jeans, hats as well. If you're a hat girl, they've got some cute ones, little bucket, little denim bucket hats. Denim shoes though, okay, Magda Boutram, a brand that has been, a, I mean, she's been around for a while. Never have I heard people talk more about Magda Boutram than I have in 2023. And that is because of her like very big, like rose appliques, 3D florals are a big thing. The paths have aligned such that Magda Boutram is thriving. Anyway, she's got these very sort of strappy, delicate, elegant looking heels with big floral roses on them. Also down the lane of denim pumps, Amina Mwadi has come out with her Camellia. Actually, that's been out for about a year now, Cassie. Just come out, come on. This is a stiletto style. And then the embellishment on the front is sort of a squarish. She's doing a new take on her Begum. It's called the Camellia. I really like it. Don't ask me what about it reels me in, but I just see it and I like it. I'm, it, the, the arch of it's sexy. Anyway, that also comes in a denim pump. However, let's say you want to, let's shorten the heel height a bit. Sandals. Sun's out, toes out. Now, I would say for the past three years, dad sandals have really been at the forefront of you know, sandal trends. It's been, if you're not in a dad sandal, go home. And whilst dad sandals, if you have spent your money on dad sandals, do not be, do not feel defeated, keep wearing them all of that. As with all the, wear what you want. But there are a few styles in particular that I think will gain a lot of traction. Number one, as we know, cartoon fashion and the cartoonification of fashion has been having a moment. And I really do feel, rightfully or wrongfully, that the Loewe bubble sandal will be around. Um, so there's that. If you want much more of a quiet luxury vibe, a Sophia Ritchie vibe, the Kate DeVoe sandals are a very sort of minimalistic leather take on a thong flip-flop style, but it does have a wide sort of a sling back with like a heel strap at the back there. If you want something a little bit chunky and clunky, then you've got the Celine Clear. I've seen that being talked around a bit. Obviously, you've got the all-time classic and my personal favourite, the Hermes Aran. Whatever's the obvious option. I like to find something that's like a little bit different, got a little bit of a twist on it. No to this. I will take the obvious option. I love me a pair of Hermes Arans. I get it. They look good on my feet. They're comfy. Yes, please. If you want a chunkier vibe, if you're a short queen, the easy. Nice, chunky, caught. I actually find these quite light. Um, other people find them that they are a little bit heavy. I don't know. I think they're quite light. Nice padded sole, all of that. Yeah, if you want something that's like a little bit sort of like chunky, casual, looks like you've got a flip phone in your pocket, have a look at those. They come in brown, white and black. Statement tops. It is all about statement tops with a loose trouser. Be that trouser a jean, a, you know, a loose cotton pant, a linen trouser, whatever you want. Statement in many different ways. Going back to our good old friend Magda, there is an asymmetric top again with roses sort of tying everything together. If you are, this vibe sort of gives had my wedding in Tuscany. Don't ask me why, that's just what my mind produced. Very nice, it's very chic. Self-portrait is pulling through, okay? They have got some really great crop um, t-shirts, completely crystalled. I'm obsessed. There's a green one. Please excuse me why I froth at the mouth in the corner of the room. They also do little cropped shirts, again, fully crystalled. There is just something so fun and delicious and juicy about them. And the word of the summer is juicy. Pajama sets. The This is my favourite kind of outfit in the summer. We all get to that point in the summer where it gets too hot. You're irritable. All you want is for air to circulate around your limbs. You were so unbothered to pick your outfit that you could have walked out naked, truly. You're just like anything to feel the wind 
on my bones. However, to avoid that and possible arrests for public indecency, I would suggest pyjama sets. Just cotton shirt and short combo, cotton shirt and trousers combo, silk shirt trousers combo, silk shirt short combo. Any of the above and a combination of all. My go-to's, um, Petite the brand, shout out Laylee Mirza, she does some really great ones. Frankie Shop also, I love their, their, their shorts are a little bit more of a boxer style, really like, if I could have them in all of the colours I would. If you want a bit more of a chic Parisienne vibe, possibly, um, Totem also does some really great sets. Now, my last selection is quite rogue, it's an accessory. It's a hair accessory, but hear me out. On the topic of being hot and bothered, but still wanting to look fabulous and fashionable and stylish, claw clips are a great one for the summer, okay? Put your hair up however you want to do it in, you know, a fabulous little twist. Just do it to just nip in the sides, whatever you want, right? Loads of these designer brands have their own, like, hair clips. The, the, I, I think the ones that maybe have the most choice are Prada and Miu Miu. Obviously, very expensive. Now, if you didn't want to do that, and obviously, yes, you could go on Amazon and just type in a claw clip and Bob's your uncle and live your best life. But if you want something a little bit more fabulous, uh, might I just take a moment to introduce you to Alexan Alexandre de Paris, which is a fantastic hair accessories company. They do lots of different types, but their most sort of iconic classic style is this style. So it's got the sort of champagne teeth and then an easy little claw clip. And then depending on what you want, you can have more or less crystals. This is my largest one, and this is two rows of crystals. So you've got crystals on the top there and crystals on the side. So from both angles, you're getting sparkle. All of the crystals are Swarovski crystals. And also, if you're going to be like, why would I spend, because these aren't cheap, why would I spend, you know, how much on a clip that's going to die? I, for one, have had this little guy, who I think is two and a half centimetres, for close to ten years. Yes. And when I tell you, that spring action isn't going anywhere, all right? It's strong enough that it clips in place um but it's also one of those that like, you're not like they're like craning your little joints to open it this is the i think this is the three and a half all crystals right so this is what it looks like with all of the crystals and they're just fabulous and if you want just a little something you know to clip your hair back as you're clip clopping through the whatever's doing x y and z living your best life i don't know why i'm putting it into the top of my ponytail but we're here now you know, here's just an example. Do you see her? Right, she's doing her job fantastically and she looks great doing it. What more do you want from life? Then definitely have a look at them. I always tend to have this one in my bag for, you know, when I'm wearing my hair down and inevitably it annoys me at some point. There you go. I hope you liked my summer luxury must-have suggestions. I'm going to leave a link to another video in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.